Hello, this is Mark Van de Wittering of the Brain Wagon blog, showing uh, my latest little tiny bit of tinkering. Um, I earlier uh, showed how I could put a digitized sound on an Arduino and use the pulse width modulation capability of that to send uh, information over a laser beam. Today I decided to do the same thing, except I hooked up a simple Electra with a pre-amplifier to it. And now, if I put this in the dot, Hopefully that sounds uh, a little bit louder. The sound quality isn't really great. I'm still kind of experimenting with uh, parameters of uh, various bits of filtering and things, and also levels that go into the Arduino. But it's not bad. Okay, uh, now maybe I'll show you what the circuit looks like. Okay, here it is. Uh, here's the simple circuit that I used to uh, transmit. Um, here I have a small electric microphone which is powered actually by uh, a couple of these uh, one and a half volt cells just for fun because that seems to be I sort of want three to five volts. I don't actually have any details about exactly what this electro really likes so that's uh, sort of up in the air. Um, you have to give it a little power in order to activate a FET that's built into the microphone otherwise you don't get anything out. And so that goes in through a uh, AC blocking cap and a uh, and a resistor, 1K resistor, into the negative inputs of the uh, LM324 op amp, which I'm using. The output cycles back with feedback through a 100K uh, resistor, which basically makes for a 100X amplification of uh, the signal. And I'm powering it basically, or uh, providing a virtual ground to the positive input through this resistor divider. And that's really all there is to it. The, the black sig is the signal that goes out then and into the Arduino on pin zero. I've tapped the zero and five volts off of the Arduino to power the circuit. And then I have a laser that comes out. So a uh, laser, yeah, there it is. So you can see that it's transmitting now. If I, uh, if I uh, take this uh, receiver that I built, receiver, I'm giving it way too much credit. Um, you can hear that it picks up the uh, 60 hertz audio from the uh, flickering of the fluorescence that I have in here. And then if I, if I accidentally let it go here, it immediately feeds back into... Uh, so uh, that's why I was standing in the other room, basically, to demo the circuit. This works. Um, I think there's probably some room for some improvement still. Uh, this, the software that runs on the... Uh, Arduino is really quite simple. It just does an analog read of pin zero and writes it out to the pulse width modulation register, just like I had in the previous version. And that is the complete transmitter. And, uh, and we, of course, are using the same receiver. So um, some things that are probably less than optimal. Uh, the receiver, I bet you, does not have the right input filtering. I still see, think I'm hearing some high bleed through from the pulse width modulation. Um, obviously mounting this, uh, this solar cell in the back of a long tube would actually help it a lot because it picks up a lot of stray light. Um, I think Dino did that on one of his photo uh, phone experiments and that seems like a really good idea. Um, and uh, I just need to play with the parameters of the amplifier, preamp, uh, voltages and all that kind of stuff. But that's uh, pretty much the whole circuit. Um, I'll be playing with this some more uh, over the next few days, and uh, but I hope it's been interesting. This light-based communication stuff, this is about as simple uh, a setup as you possibly can imagine, although it does use <laughs> the Arduino, but uh, it, it uh, has been an interesting experiment for me. Hope you enjoyed it. This has been Mark Van de Wettering, the Brain Wagon Blog.